So you've worked hard on your Power BI report. You've sliced and diced the data, you've added bookmarks, custom tooltips. It's super interactive. Your boss loves it, but one day your boss comes to your office and asks you, we need to present your super cool dashboard to senior management. You know how they can be. We need a single PowerPoint presentation, no switching between applications. They have zero patience for this stuff. Yeah, those meetings are nerve wracking. Now you know that you can easily export a Power BI report to PowerPoint. It's quite convenient, but you lose the interactivity. You only get a static image of the visuals. It would be so much easier to answer questions with filter and drill through functionalities like the way you have it in Power BI. Plus, you'll have to redo the slides the next time you have to present the report because those images aren't going to update themselves. But the boss wants PowerPoint, so PowerPoint it is. A strange thing happens when you go to export your report in Power BI service. You notice that PowerPoint now has an additional export option. No longer just embed an image, but also embed live data. Could this be the solution to your problem? Well, let's give this a try. Let's try and embed live data in PowerPoint and see if it's really live. Just to make sure it's clear where I am right now, I'm in Power BI service. Okay, so I'm in powerbi.com. I've created this dashboard that's interactive. Here I have filters for years. I've added different buttons for the different pages. So this gives me a product view, a customer view, online versus store sales, and so on. And I want to export this to PowerPoint and keep all this interactivity. Will this help me do that? When I click on embed live data in PowerPoint, notice it's still in preview. I get these options. It asks me whether I want to include the currently selected data filters. I have an option to copy this link or I can open this directly in PowerPoint, in which case it's going to create a new PowerPoint presentation. So for now, let's go ahead and try this out. Let's open this in PowerPoint. Yes, we're going to click on open. PowerPoint is opening up and I get this information here, which tells me this add-in comes from the Office Store and adds new capabilities to Office. If you trust it, it will have access to the contents of any documents where this add-in is included. Well, we have no choice. We have to trust this add-in. Otherwise, we wouldn't get this capability. Now, my report is embedded in my PowerPoint slide. Now, the reason this was super smooth for me is that my PowerPoint already got a new option, a new feature inside the Insert tab and it's called Power BI. If you don't have that yet, you will be prompted to install an add-in. You can do that directly from PowerPoint. You can go to the Insert tab under Add-ins, Get Add-ins. Just search for Power BI. You're going to see it right here. That's the add-in that you need to add. Once you do that, you get this Power BI option here. Now, the great thing is you can fully interact with this. So I'm not even in presentation mode yet, and I have the ability to take a look at my tooltips and change my view as I need. But as you can see, only the current page, so the page that we were on when we exported, was embedded in this presentation. Any subsequent pages that you have, you need to insert separately unless you included a page navigation in your report. Then the overview page is enough to move around the entire report inside a single slide. Because check this out. When I click on products, I jump to products, customers, online versus store sales. I can jump around as I need. Buttons and bookmarks are fully operational. Now, what if you already had a PowerPoint presentation and you want to embed your Power BI in there? So here I have another presentation that I've already worked on and I've added different sections and different slides to it. And on the bottom here, I want to embed my Power BI dashboard. I know that management is going to have a lot of questions and this is going to give me a lot of flexibility to just jump here and drill down into my data within the same presentation. Let's go to insert and Power BI. We get a placeholder and the input bar here to paste our report URL. We need to grab that from Power BI service. So let's go back there, go to export PowerPoint, embed live data and grab this report link. I'm just going to click on copy here, close that, go back to my PowerPoint presentation and paste this in and then click on insert and it would insert it right here. 
Now you can add a title slide, but I actually don't need that in there. So I'm just going to remove this, make this as big as I want. You should fill up my slide. And now I have my live report as a part of this presentation. If I go in presentation mode, because that's what I'm going to be in when I'm presenting to management, this is how it's going to look. I can select a different years. I get my tooltips here visible. So if management is wondering what happened to electronics in March 2022, we can take a look at this here. We can actually compare it to January 2022 when electronics was doing a lot better. Now, let's say the CFO has a question about customers. No problem. We're just going to jump to the customers tab. Here we get the sales by different departments, by different channels. We can view it on a map or take a look at our top 10 customer locations. Now, if you're wondering about electronics, we just select that. We can see which states sold the most. We even have the ability to use drill through. So we can drill through here to customer details. Once we're done, we can go back to our page. If you want management to focus on a specific visual here, so let's say I want to talk about the top 10 customer locations. I want to make sure I have their attention. I'm going to spotlight this part so that they're not taking a look at the map and wondering why sales in Florida aren't doing so well. I have the ability to sort descending, sort ascending, and let's just remove the spotlight on this. Another great thing you can do is the ability to use filters. So with this selected, I can adjust the filter. It's currently showing the top 10, but we can adjust that to the top five, press enter, and this updates automatically. If I want to leave presentation mode, no problem, just use escape and I'm going to go back to my slide. I'm going to go back to my overview page. Now this beats embedding Excel dashboards in PowerPoint presentations because a lot of the interactivity of Excel dashboards can't be used when you're in presentation mode. With this Power BI add-in, we get the interactivity in presentation mode, but also when we're here in slide design mode. So let's say CFO wants to know about the sales margin percentage of speaker accessories in 2022. Don't sweat it. You have your entire dashboard with you. We're just going to jump to products, go to product margin. Let's go to 2022, electronics, audio, audio accessories, drill down to speaker accessories, and we get the product margin by the different products right here. Now, let's say they want a snapshot of this image. We can do that. Just go here, click on this arrow and show this as a saved image. Let's go and duplicate the slide. So right mouse click, duplicate slide. We have the saved image version here. Let's go to our original slide and just remove this tick mark. And we're back to our interactive dashboard. You can show and collapse the filter pane just like you can in Power BI, but you also have the ability down here under data options to hide the filter pane. This removes it from view. Now, in the same place, you can use refresh to get the latest data from Power BI, and you also get the ability to reset. This restores the original report view. What this means is that reset doesn't reset all the filters, it just takes it back to the original filter context with which the report was exported. Now, when you're interacting with the report in edit mode, the changes are saved in PowerPoint, but they don't flow to Power BI service. Now, next to this data options here, you have some add-in options. You have the ability to clear your data and start all over again, maybe with another report, and you can learn some tips about this add-in. If you wanted to delete this report from here, you can just go here, click that top arrow and press delete from here. If you want more space on your report and you don't want to show that bottom banner, click on this drop down and it's going to hide it. When you click on this link, you get sent to your report in Power BI service. Now there is some important information down here and that's when your data was last updated. Now, one last note about sharing this presentation. If you want them to be able to interact with your Power BI report, you have to make sure that the recipient has a Power BI account and that they can access the report and they have access to the data set because you don't actually export the data. You only create a connection to Power BI. So all the security permissions are retained and respected. Okay, so next time you're asked to present your dashboard as a part of the PowerPoint presentation, try this out. Do a dry run before your actual presentation just to make sure everything works out the way you want. 
Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to catch you in the next video.